Welcome to Nissan 360. We are here in sunny Southern California with Executive Vice President Andy Palmer. Andy, a big announcement today from Nissan on autonomous driving. What can you tell us? Well, we, I think, uh, shocked the world again. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit like uh, uh, Groundhog Day in 2008 when we, we told the world that we were going to be the leaders of uh, um, zero emissions. Um, I think we've done it again. Uh, we've announced that we'll uh, introduce autonomous drive vehicle by uh, 2020 and that we said that within two, two, two vehicle life cycles we'll make that technology available across the entire portfolio. So I think what we've done is we've built out and we've fleshed out the, the two key pillars of, of Nissan Motor Company, zero emissions, zero fatality. Obviously auto autonomy, autonomous driving is really about uh, a kind of goal of zero fatalities. Looking at how this is envisioned for consumers or communities, yeah. or what ahead, how do you see uh, an autonomous drive car being employed in, in the next few years? I, it's hard to imagine it just sort of overnight. Um, you're already seeing and have seen for a long time steps towards autonomous, autonomous vehicles. I mean, to some extent, ABS. We don't think about it now, but basically the machine overriding the human. Um, so, you know, more recently, drive-by-wire or direct steering uh, it, it is a foundation uh, of autonomous driving. Uh, lane departure, uh, emergency stop, these are all components. And what you've got is, you know, with the electronics of the steering, throttle, brake, shift, with the cameras coming from the around view monitors, uh, with the sensors from uh, the emergency stop, you've got basically all the fundamental technology and then what you add on top is the, is, is, is the brain. And, and that's essentially, I guess it's the hard bit, but that's essentially what we're saying is we can have that brain in place by 2020 and what we now need is regulatory changes to allow us to deploy that. Looking at how serious Nissan is this commitment, a proving ground was announced how is that going to be implemented by when and, and what will it mean? You know, my understanding is this is a car that gets smarter the more it knows. Yeah, I mean the um, proving ground obviously it's, uh, it's finished by uh, end of fiscal year 14. Big, big, big investment. Um, somewhere it's a demonstration of our commitment to the technology. Interesting because it's not a question of uh, you know basically putting fake wooden buildings around and seeing how it drives. We're building buildings on the proving ground. Um, so a big investment, um, and yes, you're right. The, the technology then is a, is a is a learning technology. Um, it obviously takes um, all of the sensory uh, data that it has and builds its own internal kind of map of, of the world, and then looks for differences. Um, the interesting point, and maybe what makes it let's say distinctive from let's say Google Car is everything's on board. It doesn't rely on the connected vehicle, although in inevitably there's a kind of synergy between the electric car, the connected car, and the autonomous car, which actually is quite good for us because it brings all our strategies together. Um, but, but the car itself will drive autonomously and also without the need for any particular infrastructure. Finally, we're looking at the car over your shoulder, but we've got some very interesting partners here, institutions that are helping us in, in potential development ahead. Yeah. Who specifically? Well, we haven't announced anybody overtly from a supply base, but obviously the suppliers will, will be there. But from a technology point of view, we've, we're working with 10 universities. Um, jump out names, you know, Stanford, MIT, Harvard, uh, Oxford, uh, University of Tokyo just come to the, to the top of my mind. So um, that shows that there's a lot of advanced research going on there. You know, one of the fundamental reasons that we established the office in Silicon Valley is to access some of that innovative technology that inevitably comes out of the valley. So um, that, that, that's happening as well, and we'll embed that. And undoubtedly, we'll have various collaborations, uh, as you would expect. So it's, it's the cars that are driving today, they're basically 100% Nissan. We have the capability to do it 100% Nissan. But if we, can, if we can collaborate and we can enhance on what we have today, yeah, we're able to do that.